So now that we are done by running auto config for database tire, now let's go ahead and run auto config for application tire. Alright, so to do that, go back to the server. Okay, start a new terminal session. Alright, and then you need to log in as Apple Manager. Okay, now in my case, my Oracle user in my Unix environment is set up as both Oracle user as well as Apple Manager. Okay, it's got access to both database as well as application tires. Alright, so I will log in as Oracle user. Alright, then what you need to do, just as we have done it for database environment, you need to set up the environment for application tire, unless the environment is automatically set as a part of, you know, logging in in the bash file of Oracle user. So in my case, I have not uh, configured the bash file because I wanted to show the audience how to go about setting the environment. Okay, so let's set up the application tire environment first. Basically, you need to set up all the top directories and finally call the environment files. Okay, so as you could see, I've just run this. So I'm calling a couple of environment files out here, one for inst underscore top and one for apple top. So by calling these environment files, it automatically sets up the environment for application tire. Okay, so now that the environment is set up, what you need to do it is you need to actually change the directory and run the ad utility for auto config just as we have done it for database tire now what i've done out here i've listed down the various methods you can reach that directory okay one is you can type dollar appl csf scripts and then the sid underscore host name so in my case the sid is vis and the host name is ebs12 Okay, and once you reach this directory, you type this command ad auto cfg.sh. Okay, and then it will start running the auto config for application tire. Similarly, another way of doing it is you can change the directory to common top admin scripts and then again the same sid underscore host name and finally type ad auto config.sh file which will run the auto config for application tire. If you don't know or if you haven't set up the environment then you can simply go and type the whole path where autoconfig is lying okay so I can go by this way okay this is self-explanatory so I will simply change the directory like this typing the whole path and paste and simply now run as I said ad autoconfig.sh okay which will run the autoconfig for application tire so as you could see it's asking me for apps password now so my apps password is apps so now as you could see it started running the auto config for application tire as comparison to database tire the auto config for application tire takes a pretty long uh, since there are a number of um, things the auto config has to check and reconfigure it so probably around you know in my case for a vision demo instance it might take around 10 to 15 minutes again it also depends on your server configuration and your processors how fast it is your ram and so on And if there are any errors then that those errors will be shown in the log file just as I've shown in the database auto config so this will be here in this file okay as you could see ad config dot log and if you open that log you can see all the messages that you can fix it and go back and restart auto config again so since it takes a while what I'm gonna do it is I will pause it for some time and then we'll come back once it finishes it 
So as I said, it's taken around 15 minutes to run auto config for the application tire. And as you could see, it has configured the template from all the products. So if you go down and now if you see, there are no errors and it's been completed successfully. So that basically concludes the demo for auto config for application tire.